Well, the pool of those eligible to join the military continues to shrink. According to some Republican lawmakers, the COVID-19 vaccine mandate is partly to blame. NBC 15's Lisa Lebrinyak has our story. Military leaders also say the pool of young women and men that are actually eligible to join the military is shrinking because they're having to be disqualified for obesity, drug use, or having a criminal record. I've ne not seen any hard data that directly links um, a, the COVID mandate to um, an effect on our recruiting. Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin and other Pentagon officials say the COVID-19 mandate keeps service members healthy and ready to go. Some are not dismissing that, saying the mandate itself is what's preventing more people from joining the military, contributing to the low recruitment levels. Oh, it definitely did. It definitely did. Alabama Congressman Jerry Carl is one of them, along with Senator Tommy Tuberville. Thousands of service members have been fired for not taking the COVID-19 vaccine. At a time when our military already faces a recruiting crisis, it is dangerous to shrink the size of our military to make a political point about the vaccine. I saw the wokeism. Tuberville and Carl are among a group of Republican lawmakers who say military recruiting problems fall on the Biden administration for trying to build a quote, woke army. You know, we stopped several small things that were going in from, from uh, the, the woke culture, as we call it up here, uh, and that's really played a role. Two pieces of legislation that would put an end to this practice were co-sponsored by Tuberville. He also says he's supporting the addition of a provision in the National Defense Authorization Act to protect service members from the COVID-19 mandate. Thankfully, language to end the mandate is included in the text of the NDAA that was released last night from the House. The bill is expected to be voted on later this week. Back to you.